Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Jennifer Tomazzini and today I really wanna do a get ready with me and I'm gonna show you a little bit what I have been loving right now, my beauty and makeup favorites and just chit chat a little bit. I'm gonna show you uh, my go-to look, what I have been using for the last couple of months, just about fall, winter inspiration and what I'm actually using every day. So this is actually my everyday look. This is what I wear every day to go to work, to go to events, um, go out for dinner with my husband. This is actually what I'm always wearing. So I'm just gonna show it with you, show it to you guys, and share with you guys, and also talk about different uh, products that I've been loving. So if you guys are interesting, let's keep watching. So yes, I want to start first with the primer that I've been loving for the couple of three weeks. I think I've been using in this. I have been using this every day and this one is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright uh, pa uh, Primer, yeah, face primer. Um, I love this a lot. I'm so sorry about my ugly nails. I have to do a manicure ASAP. Uh, so I'm so sorry if you get bothered about them. <laughs> and yeah, this face primer is really good. It has vitamin C inside. And it's like a banana powder inspired pigments and it also um, blur it has like a blur effect on the skin and I have the feeling that when I'm using this with uh, in combination with my foundation um, I don't get that oily uh, during the day so I do love it a lot so I do two pumps here you have the mirror I'm so sorry looks a little bit weird and I just put it all over my face so this is what I've been loving for the last three weeks. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more and it smells really good. It smells like orange. So if you like orange uh, scents, you will really love it. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of orange scent, but this one is really um, light. It's not that overpowering, so it's good. So, and I'm going in also with my lips, lip serum that I've been using um, for the couple months now is the La Mer lip serum it's a beautiful lip serum and this one is like also plumping effect I don't feel the plumping effect that much but it's very moisturizing and I'm just gonna put it all over the lips mm, it smells really good it's like minty kind of flavor so after the primer I'm going to go in with the uh, foundation the foundation that I'm gonna use is the the one that I'm always using right now. It's the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced in the color uh, Sand. So I worked the whole weekend and these two days I had off. So I had off yesterday and today as well. Um, I didn't do a lot yesterday. I was really <laughs> tired. So I was the whole day in bed and at home. And today I just went out to meet a friend of mine who also had off and I was with her and her baby and it was really cute. I really need a time to be with them. You know, sometimes I have the feeling that I'm always working, I'm never home and it was so good to catching up and just see also the baby. She's become so big, it's incredible. So, yeah. So now I just put the foundation all over my face. I do love this foundation. This one is like a full coverage, medium to full coverage foundation. You can foundation, you can build it up quite good, but it's not a matte finish. It's more like a satin finish and that's why I love it so much. I'm gonna put some more, I think like it's a little bit too less. So. And I didn't have any time today to do my makeup. I just went to visit her without makeup. And it was also really good for the skin. But then I thought now I could do a tutorial for you guys. Um, this is actually what I always do, like every day. Also when I go to work. This is like my go-to during fall and winter. This is what I love doing. And as you may see, I don't wear um, eyelash extensions anymore. Because I have been going... I have been doing really good right now. I have been using like a eye serum for my 
uh, from my lashes to make them grow faster and to be honest I have been using it for the couple of I think three months now and they have become quite long the lashes so I'm really happy with this and I don't feel like I need um, lash extensions or like just eyelashes I have pretty good eyelashes without help and just with the mascara uh, and that's why I don't wear any and in this tutorial also will not wear nothing I just want to show you what I do every day so this is the finish of the foundation I did like two covers and it looks pretty good I have a little bit of a pen not a lot but they do have it still then I'm gonna go in with the foundation and the found uh, the foundation sorry the concealer and the concealer I have of course is the Tarte one classic the in the color medium and I'm just gonna go under my eyes so um, now for Christmas um, what you guys are up to where you guys gonna do um, I don't know yet like I'm really debating what I should do I have off so I don't know if I should go to Italy to my family or if I should do it here uh, I'm thinking to go back to Italy to be with my family and just enjoy the Christmas there because then on uh, New Year's Eve I have to work so I don't have that long that off but I do have like a week off so maybe it's it's okay to go to Italy to visit family I haven't decided yet and then on on the 13th of December we do have like a party with the um, with the hospital uh, colleagues and we're going out to eat dinner and stuff and I don't know what to wear I'm really like checking everywhere and now I thought I find something on House of CB and I did buy some stuff and I don't know if you guys are interesting I can do a House of CB haul you can link it down below and comment down below if you guys are interesting and see uh, a House of CB haul I've never done one of these before and I did bought a lot back in the days about House of CB like I bought a lot of stuff but then I don't know I never get that inspired but this year like for summer for loungewear and also now for Christmas they made such beautiful dresses that I'm really thinking to do maybe an, an House of CB haul for you guys if you guys are interested just comment down below and I would love to do that for you guys so now I'm gonna bake a little bit I don't bake that much like before because I have the feelings that my eyes gets really uh, really um, dry the one that I'm using in the, is the hourglass veil powder and I'm just going a little bit to dip a little bit under the eyes And that's it a little bit up perfect then I'm gonna do the brows and the brows is the same brows that I always do um, I bought a new brush and this one is the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills like the classic one with the spool out on the other side and it's the same Anastasia Beverly Hills deep brow pomade in dark brown and I'm just gonna do that eyebrows yeah so now I found a dress anywhere in any way in the house of CB for the wedding for the wedding for the Christmas party and let's see it's beautiful like if you like it I can show it to you uh, yeah these are my brows it's not that complicated and I'm just gonna take away the powder you can see it and then I've been loving the hourglass um, amb ambient lighting palette and this one is a powder with three different but I usually use all three of them with a brush 
and I feel like it gives like a blur effect on the skin and it also keeps the foundation together. It doesn't break. I'm sorry. Looks very blurry on the skin and very like Instagram looking. I love it a lot. These are highly, highly recommend. I love this powder. And for um, eye palette, I have been into uh, bronze palettes and bronze is actually the kind of color that I always go for. Um, and Kaya Cosmetics uh, came with a new eye palette. This one is the, what it calls? This one is the Golden Bronze Palette. So it comes like this, then you can open it up. Golden Bronze Palette it calls, and now I'm showing you, sorry, I don't wanna blend you with the big mirror that it comes with, but look at the color. I'm gonna show you the color, they are amazing. They have metallic color, they have like satin finish, they do have a matte ones, and they're just beautiful. So I'm just gonna use these ones, they are being my favorite and my go-to. I'm gonna use the brush from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics or Jaclyn, Morphe with Jaclyn Hill. Uh, this one is JH31. And I'm just gonna dip in the color uh, Cutie, this one right here. I love Cutie as a transitional color. I love this eye palette. I feel like it's so pigmented and also they're so blendable, her colors. Uh, you have a lot of um, color payoff as well. And it's just look effortless. So this one is the first color, then Cutie, as a transitional color. And then I'm just gonna blend it a little bit better. Perfect, you see that? And then I'm gonna use the color, the color uh, Yettat. That means uh, heart, but usually Yettat it's like saying um, um, honey or sweetie, uh, but it means actually heart. So this orange, this burnt orange, I'm gonna use in the crease. It's just amazing. And it's so blendable and so pigmented, it's incredible. And the color just blend really good with another, you know? It's like, they're just made for each other. It's incredible. I'm so obsessed with uh, Kaya Cosmetics uh, makeup. It's unbelievable, I think. They have to give, they have to give them more recognition because they are really, really good. So, so this one is Cutie together with Yetta. And then I'm gonna use, I think, um, I'm gonna use three different glitter um, on my lid. I'm gonna take this one, yeah. I'm gonna use first the color Babe, then the color Honey, and then the color Love. So this color, Baby, then the color um, Honey, and the color love. So these three together. I'm gonna take first the more burn orange one, the babe one with the glitter, and put it just on the side like this. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Oh, that's beautiful. Then I'm gonna go in with the color honey, the one who looks like pure gold, and put it like all over the lid. I love this color, oh my God, it's amazing. So glittery, it's incredible and metallic at the same time. And then I'm gonna go in with the lighter one, so love, and put it again all over the lid at the beginning there. It's so beautiful and blendable. So this is the final look of the eye. And then of course we have to put something down, but I'm just gonna blend again a little bit all over with a clear blush brush like this perfect and then I'm just gonna go in with which one with this one down with the color yet dot and cutie together and I'm just gonna go under the brow under the eye 
just to blend everything. Incredible, such a beautiful color. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I highly recommend this palette. I feel like this one you can use a lot during uh, fall and winter, but also during spring and of course summer. Like for summer also this bronzy look, it's beautiful. But also this burnt orange, uh, you can still use now during fall. I think it's such a beautiful color. So this one is amazing. Then I'm gonna use some eyeliner. And the eyeliner that I've been obsessed with is the one from Huda Beauty. Uh, it's the Life Liner looks like this you have on one side the liquid liner on the other side you have the lip uh, the the pencil liner so i have been using the liquid liner for up and the pencil liner down the eye in the water line so i'm just gonna do the eyeliner first up let's see if i can accomplish it to do it good And this eyeliner, it's amazing because it's so black. It's so, so black. And also it's very difficult to take it away because it's like waterproof. So it stays there. Like I had a lot of eyeliner that they go away so fast that it's like it makes no sense to having them. But this one will never go away until you take it away with the Neutrogena usually wipes because otherwise it will stay there like the whole time. It will never budge, no chance. And then the pencil, it's also like this, like totally black. And I'm just gonna put it on the, my waterline. So I'm a little bit thick. So it looks so good. And then I'm gonna bronze my face and also here I use the face palette from Kai Cosmetics. People saw my review on it, I can link it down below so you guys can check it out. And this one is in the color, um, which color is this? Classy. This one is the most popular one and it's still not available, it's sold out right now, but it will be soon available again, Kai, um, Bianca said. And let me see, I'm gonna use the bronzer brush and I'm just gonna dip into these two colors at the same time. And I'm just gonna bronze the face. And I have been using this a ton, like I can't change it with something else because it's so good, they're so pigmented and so blendable with the foundation. And yeah. Now I bronze the face and for the blush, I'm also using this blush right here. It's in between, I will say, a, a, a pink and a more peach color and has a, a tiny bit of glitter, but like not overpowering. And this one is very pigmented. And for the highlight, I'm also using this one right now, and she has the same formulation as Dior Highlight. So it's very incredible. This one is like kind of a gold champagne color. So it's very good for medium um, skin color and also like for darker complexion. Maybe for a lighter complexion, it will be too um, overpowering. And then there is another highlight or like face palette you can buy that calls, I think, um, cutie can be, or sassy, I don't remember, that it's like lighter than this one and then it fits better for lighter complexions. She has four different face palettes for different like skin complexions, so that's very cool. So, 
the highlight is popping you see that right and then after what I want to do I'm just gonna do my lips yeah let's do my lips I have the lip liner from Mac in spice this one is my go-to and I'm just gonna line my lips or overline my lips I think it's called And I'm just gonna go in with my favorite li uh, liquid lipstick, matte liquid lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics in the color uh, Candy K. This one is almost finished, but I did purchase a new one, so <laughs> it's not the end of the world. When people ask me what I wear on my lips, it's 90% of the time this lip color, this, this lip liquid lipstick from, from Kylie Cosmetics Candy K. And I'm just gonna use my um, my setting uh, spray, and the one that I've been loving is the waterproof makeup setting spray from Huda, and it's almost finished. This one is out of this world. It's matte finished, and it's also um, long lasting and makes extra hold. It smells a little bit like the, the perfume is a little bit overwhelming, but to be honest, I don't care. I love it. perfect now I'm done and then I just have my mascara and the mascara that I have been loving it's incredible it's very unexpensive one this one is the Maybelline lash sensational this one it's out of this world makes your lashes so long it's incredible I'm gonna show it to you how it is now I'm just gonna put it all over my lashes and usually after this um, eyelash serum that I have been using, I don't really use eyelash extensions anymore. I don't feel like I need it right now. So I feel really lucky. I can link down below the, number, the name of the eyelash serum. I don't remember it right now, um, but you can check it out. I will link it down below for you guys. Lashes are crazy long today. Do you guys see my eyelashes? I'm gonna show it to you. They are incredible long, so I'm really happy. Just gonna fix my hair. So this is the final look. I'm really, really happy. Like this is what I always wear like every day, every single day. This is like my makeup look, my go-to look. So guys, that was it for my YouTube video. If you, if you guys like it, click a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening, okay? Bye.